On this video, I'm going to talk about the basics of localizing your app and how to preview it on a SwiftUI canvas like this. For example, English, uh, Japanese here, and Portuguese here. So let's begin. So first, we'll create the app. Uh, product name, maybe localization, uh, tutorial. And then we, this should be the initial code you get uh, when you create a new app, at least in the current Xcode 11 uh, beta 7, I think I'm using. So let's resume to get <clears throat> our preview here. Okay, so this is the preview for the uh, Swift UI code we have here. Let's suppose we want to localize this uh, text here. So the first thing you should do uh, to get the localization is to create a string file. So command N and then select string file and name it localizable.strings. Cool. So this the format is something like this. And on the left side is like the key. So you could do uh, welcome title, for example. And here in English, this would be uh, the title. After creating the localizable.strings, uh, open file inspector, and you have to localize this file. You can see English here, which is um, the language of my developer environment. And then here you can do like, uh, hello title, and resume. Okay, it's not hello title, it's welcome title. Okay, we got uh, welcome here. Uh, if you want to write that in another language, for example, you would go to your project file and then here on the top. And in localizations, you can see all your la the languages that your app supports. So for example, you add uh, Japanese. Uh, you don't have to add on screen here because that can't be localized. As soon as you add Japanese, you can go to your localizer strings and you see that Japanese is here. The first time you add, you get this already populated with the same uh, strings as uh, the base class which is English for me. So you can come here and example in Japanese, right? Now you have uh, that string localized. So if you come here, you can uh, actually preview it here, right here. So if you use environment and then the key path locale and here you do uh, init identifier Japanese yeah so after adding the localization I had to uh, clean the build folder and then it worked. So Japanese, if I put English, becomes welcome again. So yeah. Now, just to try another one, you can come here, add um, Portuguese. 
then you get this let's say uh, bing window uh, then if you come here let's see if you need if i would need to uh, clean the build folder again or not so pd oh it works yeah and if you want to see all languages at the same time you could use uh, for each with an array. You have to pass an ID. And then local editive fire in. Okay. Here you can pass the local. Write all the languages that you want. Okay, now you can see all three languages at the same time. And to help you know which one is which, you can add a preview. This play name. Then again, call identifier. Then you can see here English, Japanese, and Portuguese. If you want to actually run this uh, in the device or simulator, you can uh, do command R or press this button to run. And then now it's in English. If you want to change the language, you can go here, edit scheme, then there is application language under options. So you can select Japanese, close and run again. Then you get uh, Japanese. And for the launch screen, you can actually uh, localize storyboards, but the launch screen, it doesn't work. If you go to the Apple uh, Human Interface Guidelines, you see here in the launch screen section, avoid including text on your launch, launch screen because launch screens are static and the display text won't be localized. So yeah, when you add a language here, uh, this shows here, but it shouldn't because <laughs> it can't be localized. It's just showing there because uh, here on the app folder, uh, the launch screen is created under base dot lproj and everything that's inside those folders get added when you try to add another language so yeah this was uh, the basics of how to start to localize your app thank you